All right, today I wanna to do a huge grocery haul from Aldi and I wanna take you guys along, so let's go shopping. So I've got my shopping crew with me. We are, I got Julianne, Tabitha's hiding in the back. We are loaded up and we are headed to Aldi for a stock up today. It's gonna to be a grocery haul stock up, but Julianne and I have been stocking up the root cellar, getting it all good to go, getting things canned up. But this morning you went and took inventory, right? Yeah, I did a quick straighten up of the root cellar, just seeing what we need, what we don't need. What's our basics that we're looking for today? Uh, mostly just basic baking items, some basic cooking items that we use. Yeah, we love Aldi for a couple stock up items like butter and ketchup. You guys, if you've seen our videos in the past, you know we love, we love ketchup. Um, and all of our ketchup is gone. Shock and amazement, our ketchup is gone. So we need to stock up on ketchup and a bunch of other things. We're gonna take you guys into the store with us and walk around and check out what's going on, what's new, what are the prices like right now. Um, I haven't done a stack up trip in a while from Aldi, so we'll see what the prices are like. Um, but then stay tuned because we're gonna take everything home, put it out on the table, show what we're doing, how we use it, how we store it, and talk you through the whole process. So let's go shopping. So it's wonderful when you don't need something from the store because you have grown it yourself or stocked up on, on your own. And uh, we don't need chicken broth. We have tons of that. <laughs> we don't need beef broth. We don't need veggie broth. We have all of that, which is amazing. Um, all of that is put up in the root cellar already from raising our own chickens. And then when I come down here to like pastas and sauces, we don't need any pasta and we don't need any sauce. It's such a good feeling. We have so much tomato sauce put up for probably two years. I mean, it's gonna last us forever. So that can be pasta sauce, pizza sauce, all of that. So it's, I just love coming to the store. I mean, obviously we're buying a lot of stuff today. We're doing a big year stock up uh, to have the winter stocked up uh, in the house, but it's so thrilling to not have to buy some stuff because you're like, hey, we already have more than a year supply of that, which is really awesome. We are all done at Aldi. Uh, we checked out, we loaded up the back of the van. You guys can't really see it. It's always funny because anytime I do a stock up run, which is not all the time, even though I share these with you guys, so it seems like it's all the time, it's not. I usually get the question like, what are you making? <laughs> yeah, what are you guys doing? What are you making? And um, you know, because people are always judging you and looking at you, but then when you put it in terms like, well, I'm, I'm shopping for the whole year. Like I'm getting supplies for the whole year. Then, there, then she was like, oh, that's smart. I was like, you. yeah, I know. And I said, that way I don't have to go to the store all the time for this little stuff. But anyway, we're gonna head home, put it on the table, show it all to you guys. And also, I've you guys have asked for price comparisons. So today I'm gonna go over prices of everything too and see how things compare to where you live. So, all right, let's head home and get this stuff up on the table. All right, we just got back home from shopping and we put everything on the table so you guys can see the entire grocery haul. And this was a big one, I will say. You guys, we have done big Aldi stock ups in the past and you guys have seen those and we'll link those here if you wanna go watch some of those. Some of the stuff is new here and some of the stuff is repeat because we like some of the staple items from Aldi. And many of you last time asked for me to keep the receipt and talk about prices. I always keep the receipt, but I never shared the prices before. So today I'm gonna do that as well. And that's how we're gonna go through each item is by the receipt. So today, this is a $600 haul. That is a lot. So for about the same amount of stuff, I think last year it was about $400 and some change. So there's been quite an increase in cost of things. There were some limits on different things like butter. So anyway, let's run through the items and I'm gonna show you everything that I got on this big trip. Okay, so working our way down our list here, we're gonna start with our frozen fruit. So over here first we have, we only bought two different kinds of frozen fruit. First of all, we didn't make it to 
pick uh, fresh blueberries in Michigan this year. That's such a bummer. It didn't happen. So I don't have my huge supply of organic blueberries from Michigan. And those are very inexpensive for us there. So you have to improvise when you have eight people in your family. It's You can't buy everything organic and this is something that I sacrifice on. So we bought um, quite a few bags of the frozen blueberries. And uh, right now, actually, the blueberries were, were $3.85. So that is a good buy for, for 24 ounces of frozen blueberries. So we bought quite a few of those. I mean, we're even gonna use those tonight in blueberry pancakes and egg casserole and some bacon and different things. So we're, that's what dinner is tonight. Um, and then we did, this is a 32 ounce bag, so it's a little bit more expensive of the berry medley. We love this for smoothies, for oatmeal, for all sorts of things. And the price on this today, uh, these were actually $6 each. So definitely more expensive than the blueberries, but you get more, so that's not, that's not too bad. Moving on to butter. So we're gonna go to the other side. Sorry, I'm just going <laughs> down my list here. Butter, they had limit six per transaction, but I had Julianne with me. And so I bought six and she bought six. And uh, the butter today was $2.99 each, which is really good. Uh, it's a, they had it on sale. I will probably, cause 12 packages of butter like this, it doesn't last us very long. Yes, we know how to make our own butter, and yes, we love our own homemade butter. Marie makes a, an amazing uh, garlic herb butter from our homemade butter. However, we do a ton of baking. We share a ton of recipes with all of you, and when we are cooking and baking in that large of an amount, we use store-bought butter because I am not making homemade butter for all of those recipes. But this was a great price. We keep it in the freezer. I'm gonna go back and probably get 12 more of these because we go through butter really quick when we're doing all that baking. So I like to keep that on hand and keep it in stock. But $2.99 for a package of four sticks of butter. Okay, let's go to our canned pumpkin. It's hiding in here somewhere. Okay, it's underneath here. So we bought a flat of canned pumpkin, and this is just to supplement. This is only 12 cans of, of this pumpkin. Um, this is the uh, brand that Aldi offers. It's the Baker's Corner. No preservatives, no weird ingredients. It's just pumpkin. Uh, no BPA in the can. It's good quality, and uh, Julianne grows pumpkin harvests it here and freezes it, but we we sometimes run out of our own pumpkin or they start to go down bad in the root cellar and we have to process it out and all that. So it's nice to have some of this on hand for when we run out of our fresh pumpkin, which we've already been using. So we have pumpkin and today the cans of pumpkin were $1.29 each. So that was a good price. Okay, let's move over here to our chocolate chips, our semi-sweet chocolate chips. Julianne and Marie love, love, love to bake. And this is something that is a wonderful staple in our house. And actually the ingredients, I love how Aldi has come so far um, from what it, it used to be. When Josh and I first got married and we shopped at Aldi because we didn't have a lot of money, it was a lot of processed foods and a lot of foods that were very unhealthy, to be honest. But now you can go there and you have so many healthy options that you can choose from. And uh, today we were reading uh, the chocolate chips and the ingredients in the Baker's Corner chocolate chips are cleaner and better than the Nestle Toll House chocolate chips that they also offer there. So we bought, I believe Julianne bought 23 packs of the chocolate chips where we, um, in order to store it for safety, obviously some of these things are cans or they're in glass so they're safe from critters and bugs and all that. Uh, but anything that's in a bag like this, we put in a tote or in a five gallon bucket that seals so that nothing can get in there and ruin that stuff. So we have a whole box full of these semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, we already have uh, some downstairs, but we need to build up our stockpile of our chocolate chips. And each one of these today were $1.99. So $2 a bag, not bad. Moving on to our creamed corn. Marie, do you see it? It's over here. Okay, it's in this pile of stuff. So we bought 12 cans of creamed corn and they were 49 cents each. There's a few recipes during the holiday season, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas, where we used canned creamed corn. And it's 
this recipe that I'm talking about is really, really good. It's it's my sister-in-law's, um, and she calls it scalloped corn, but it's so good. You make it in a crock pot, maybe we'll share it sometime, but that's why we stocked up on cream corn. But 49 cents, that is so cheap. Okay, so now let's head over to brown sugar. So we have brown sugar and powdered sugar right next to each other, and both of these we use for baking. So I wanna talk philosophy for a minute. Um, obviously these are not organic and these are also just sugar items. And uh, when we stock up on our cane sugar, I do that through Azure Standard and I love their organic cane sugar crystals. First of all, they're gorgeous. Um, and if you wanna check out some of our Azure Standard hauls, we can link that or put in the description below or search it on our channel. And um, we love supporting them. Azure Standard and Aldi are probably my two favorite places to stock up on. And so like from Azure, we've done the uh, organic cane sugar crystals. We've done dried dates so that you can use that as a sweetener. Uh, you can use maple syrup. But when we're just baking and uh, <laughs> doing it for big amounts of people or whatever, we go cheap sometimes. So I keep the cheap stuff in my pantry and that goes for brown sugar and it goes for powdered sugar. So we bought 10 of each of these. The brown sugar was $1.49 a pack and the powdered sugar down there was $1.69 a pack. So this will last us a good amount of time because we don't go through it super fast, but it's nice to have it down in the, in the root cellar, in the stockpile. Again, those are in bags, so we will store them either in a plastic tote or we will store them in a five, food grade five gallon bucket and seal it up so that it's nice and safe. Okay, next on my list I have, and I didn't do a huge stock of this, but I bought some organic uncured beef hot dogs. My kids are just like your kids probably who love hot dogs, but the ingredients obviously can get kind of sad. And my William specifically loves, loves, loves hot dogs. And the last time we bought um, good, healthy, grass-fed, uncured beef hot dogs, and these are organic too, from Azure Standard. William really liked them, everybody liked them, but they're very expensive from Azure. That's one of the products that are super expensive. Well, today, these hot dogs, even though they are expensive, there's only one, two, three, four, there's only five of them in there, and they're $6.35 each. I only bought four packs because we don't need tons of these, but um, this is a nice, easy lunch to go to. The ingredients are really, really clean, and that made me very happy. Um, so I don't mind feeding that to my kids, um, and we're gonna try them and see if we like them, which one we like better, whether Aldi or Azure Standard, but these are cheaper than Azure Standard for sure. So I bought some of those. Okay, one of the snacks that we love, and this is more of a treat than it is like a stock up thing, are olives. And I love garlic stuffed olives and jalapeno. Actually, anything spicy I like, but I like jalapeno spice, uh, or jalapeno stuffed olives and garlic, so we bought a couple of those. Again, not a stock up item, that's kind of like a fun item, but those were $2.98 today. We bought a few things of yellow mustard. That's something that we don't make homemade. Um, and again, the ingredients are really good, so I'm happy to buy this. Uh, it's very basic. It's just vinegar, water, mustard seeds, salt, turmeric, and paprika. So that's pretty good to me. And so um, a couple of these will last us a long time. We don't go through mustard super fast, not like we do ketchup. So I bought some of these, and today the mustard was they were 99 cents each, so that's a good price for that, that big of a bottle. Okay, so let's move on to bacon. Again, that's kind of like in the same category as the beef hot dogs. Um, I, we don't raise our own pigs, so I do buy um, pork. You guys just saw us canning up pork that we got on sale, and that's down in the root cellar. Uh, none of that was bacon, so I got some of the uh, good quality bacon from Aldi, and again, I love the ingredients. It's just pork, water, sea salt, and celery extract, and spice extract. And uh, yeah, really, it's uncured, hickory smoked uncured bacon. Um, shout out to uh, all my Canadian folks here. This is from, from Canada. So anyway, we bought four packs of this. We're having this for dinner tonight, and it's, it's just a good quality bacon. We like how it tastes. So four of those. The bacon was $6.00 and 45 cents, okay? Not bad for good, um, for clean bacon. Uh, you can buy, they had cheaper versions there, but I didn't want some of the junk ingredients, so that's why I went with that. Okay, 
the thing that I get the most heat about on my all these stock ups, uh, the item that I get the most trouble is the tomato ketchup. So we like all these organic ketchup. And in our household, we are huge fans of ketchup. And I've also shared with you guys that I don't, I haven't found a homemade ketchup recipe that I like. I know many of you like, I'm just going to talk this out right now. Many of you like the Living Traditions recipe. I still need to try it. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's been a busy summer and I'm going to try it um, because love them. They're great. I need to get on there and check out their homemade. But in the meantime, uh, the ketchup from Aldi is organic and it's like... This lasts us maybe a week, okay? That's why we get so much because this is a small bottle for a family of eight and when everyone loves ketchup, I mean, it, and some of my kids put it on like everything. So um, it's good, clean ingredients. That's why I don't mind and I'm happy to let the kids have this in the house. And uh, so that's why, and it's not a huge bottle so it fits in my fridge. That's why I like that. So believe it or not, I bought 24 bottles of ketchup and they were $1.69 each. So again, it's just a treat that everybody likes, and I like having it in the house, especially with all of our uh, potatoes from the garden down in the root cellar. I mean, we love making uh, smashed potatoes or crispy potatoes and using ketchup on that or whatever. So we have quite a big stockpile of dry beans uh, and different things like that that we keep in the root or that we keep in what I call the shower storage room and we keep those in bags and we close up, you know, the five gallon buckets with those items in it. But for, you know, we've talked about this before. It's really nice to have quick fast food meals in the house and canned beans are one of the things that make that doable because uh, you can just open up a can and make chili. You can do easy things. So we stocked up on 24 cans of, of different kinds of beans. Underneath I have the black beans beans and here I have the organic kidney beans and the organic black beans as well and again I just love again how Aldi has opened up their uh, doors to organic products and all natural products and you know no BPA cans and all of that so anyway there's nothing weird in here it's just the organic kidney beans water and sea salt and that's the same thing for the other ones so today I spent on the beans the black beans were 99 cents a jar for uh, a can for organic and the kidney beans were $1.16. Totally worth it for me for an easy quick meals to throw into soup stews. The kids make like a Mexican taco mix uh, with beans and it's just so nice to have that and have it ready to go. Moving on to uh, fruit, let's head over to the peach slices. I bought 12 cans of yellow cling peaches and 100% fruit juice. I bought the pineapple chunks in 100% um, pineapple juice, which we love. We use that for, if you guys have seen any of our cooking from the stockpile series, we use so many of these things in those recipes for easy, quick meals. So the pineapple today was 128 a can. Those are bigger. And then the peaches were 125 a, a can. So that's really good. Okay, um, let's move on to uh, nuts. So we actually have quite a stock of nuts already. Um, between previous hauls and Azure Standard, I have like lots of figs, lots of dates. We have almonds and cashews and all of that. But something we bake with a lot are, are pecans. And this has nothing else. There's no oils or anything. It's just raw pecans ready to go down. We store these in jars, uh, mason jars, like half gallon. We love baking with these and eating these plain and all of that. These are really good. Store them in glass jars so they stay fresh and no critters get to them. Okay, so the pecans were, that was an expensive purchase today, but I think that's just how it always is. That, that bag, which is 32 ounces, is $17.39. I'd like to know if you guys have found a better pricing for nuts, because nuts are super expensive, no matter what no matter where I try to buy them. On a daily basis, we do not, you know, I don't give my kids juice for breakfast. We drink a lot of water. Josh and I like coffee, Elise loves coffee. We don't do a lot of juices unless we, we juice our own fruit with apples or whatever, but I do like having some juice down in the root cellar for in situations where maybe a child becomes sick and is dehydrated. I like to give them a little bit 
of apple juice or something to sip on to help them like up their sugar and uh, different electrolytes and things like that. So we bought a few juices. We bought some 100% pomegranate juice from Concentrate. No strange ingredients. We're gonna try out this uh, golden fusion or gold fusion juice. Uh, it's organic and it's uh, green and red apples, oranges and carrots for a nice little boost of a juice. And then we bought six different containers. Uh, these are 64 uh, fluid ounces of 100% apple juice, no added ingredients. So the prices on the juice, the pomegranate was $4.99 for uh, one quart. It's kind of expensive. Um, the specialty juice was $3.99 for uh, just over one quart. And then the um, the apple juice over here was $2.59 a container. Obviously, this is gonna be your cheapest option to kind of keep keep the sugars up and all of that. Okay, so moving on from the juices, I did some fun things and that's like these different cheeses. Um, so we bought brie, several different goat's cheeses, uh, grass-fed, you know, dairy cheeses down here. And they're all favorites and you know, the, the, they all last quite a bit. I think they all last into next year, a few months. So I know we can kind of tuck that away in the fridge and just have it as a quick option. My favorite cheeses to stock up on are still from Azure Standard and it's the raw milk cheddar cheese. It's so good. Um, I've tried other cheeses from there as well, but the pricing is excellent. So um, on my next Azure Standard grocery haul, which you can stay tuned for that, on my next haul, I'll probably need to restock my cheeses on that, okay? So for the Irish cheddars, those are $3.79 each. Uh, the brie was on sale for like $2.99, which is very inexpensive for a round like this. I think I, I see them for $7 recently. I mean, they're very expensive. My little goat cheese logs down here, $1.99 each. So it, it was a really nice stock up on some nice, delicious cheeses to put into the, the fridge. All right, I bought, we already have quite a bit of balsamic vinegar, but I like having red wine vinegar too for different recipes. And so I bought two bottles of this and the red wine vinegar was $2.49 each, not bad. So we're gonna put this down in the root cellar, keep it for recipes through the winter and have it available and ready to go. All right, another thing we bought quite a bit of just as much as ketchup is peanut butter. And we really like peanut butter here. And I really like the Simply Nature organic peanut butter from Aldi. The ingredients are organic peanuts and sea salt, and that is it. And I love that, no extra oils or anything like that. So um, it's a great staple food to have done in the pantry, high calorie, high fat for kids, which is good. I have no issue with that. I'm happy to feed it to them. And these are $3.99 each. A little bit more expensive than the bottom of the barrel, but it's good quality, so I don't mind spending the money on that. This is one pound. And again, I like, I kind of like buying the smaller packages, the same thing with ketchup because it takes up less space in the pantry and it doesn't get kind of funky tasting if you don't go through it fast enough. We always go through this before it goes bad. So I like that a lot. So we have quite a few of those to put down in the pantry. And did I get everything, Marie? I think so. Marie's behind the camera, <laughs> as usual, helping us out. So anyway, this is quite a big stock stocking up trip. Like I said, it was $600. Um, that's quite a bit of money. But again, if you kind of think about, like I'm not gonna have to buy so many of these items possibly for a whole year. It makes sense that that's why it was that expensive. Some of these things I'll have to go back for, which is when you're feeding a family of eight at home a lot, which we do, we bake our desserts at home. We eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all of us at home every day. So that's a lot of food and a lot of meals. Um, you know, my kids go to school here at home, so they, they eat here all the time, you know? So you have to have all these kinds of snacks and foods and homemade snacks. So overall, a very successful trip. Um, even though there are definitely price increases and I, I felt it today <laughs> in the bill, but um, I just, I love shopping at Aldi. I love the options that they have. I love filling up my root cellar and all of that. And I've got a root cellar update tour coming up soon. So make sure you stay, stay tuned. We appreciate you being here and being a part of the Heartway Farms family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, go over to check out what we have at heartwayfarms.com. We have really cool shirts that Marie, who's behind the camera, like I said, she makes uh, our t-shirts, custom t-shirts, and they're so cute and we, we love them. So yeah, we appreciate you guys being a part of things today and we'll talk to you all soon and see you in the next video.